Today we can talk about dividing fraction. Dividing fraction. But before we begin this, you have to know the word reciprocal. Reciprocal is the flipping of a, another a fraction or a whole number. For example, if you have one fourth, if you reverse the denominator and the numerator, it becomes four one. It's a flipping. Because when you multiply these two fractions, it will equal one whole. One times four is four. Four times one is four. Four fourths is one whole. So it's really just flipping it and it equals one whole. So let's, flip, let's do another reciprocal. What's the reciprocal of three fourths? Four thirds. You just flip them. And let's take 12 over 12 is one whole. Let's make it a little harder. What if you have the number five? How would you flip five? Well, first of all, is that a fraction? No. So we need to turn it into a fraction. Oh, five one. Now you flip it one fifth. And if you check your answer, five fifth is one whole. So reciprocal is the flipping, I think. Let's make it a little harder. What if you have three and a half? Can you flip three and a half? Is this a fraction? No. The fraction equivalency is seven halves. Remember popcorn method? So the flipping of it is two seven. Let's practice one more. So can you find a reciprocal or flip out three and one third? So this is really ten third. The flipping of it is three tenth. Now that you understand it, we can talk about dividing fraction. Dividing fraction, give it a try. Flip the second fraction and multiply. So for example, if you had half of a pie, how many fourths are there in half of a pie? So let's see this. So here's half of a pie. How many fourths are there in half of a pie? I think the answer is going to be two. But let's do our mathematics C. Dividing fraction. Give it a try. Flip the second fraction. Flip it. That'd be four one. And multiply. So four over two. How many twos going for? Two times. Hey. Here's half a pie. There's how many fourths in there? Two of them. That's the answer. Sweet. So I know one. You have two thirds. How many one thirds go into two thirds? So here is two thirds. How many one thirds? I think it's going to be two again. Again, dividing fraction. Give it a try. Flip the second fraction. Three, one. And multiply. It's 6 over 3. How many 3's go in 6? Two times. Sweet. Let's do one where the answer is not as a straightforward. I'm going to flip the paper around. Reciprocal. I uh, have half of a pie. How many, uh, let's do 3 fourths are there in half of a pie? Here's half a pie. Well, you know it's going to be a very tiny because there are no 3 fourths in here. So it's going to be a very, it's going to be a fractional part. Dividing fraction, give it a try. Flip the second fraction, four third. And multiply, four over six or two third. You might say, what? I don't get it. Here's half of a pie. They want to know, let me use a different pen color. Here's three fourth. Or three fourth looks like this. Ugh. If you put this in here, it takes up two of the three spaces. So three fourth, can three fourth even fit in half? No. So it is two third of this. So let's try another example. Here's our last example. Let's do, I don't know, five eighths. How many one fourth are there in five eighths? So five eighths looks like this. One, two, three, four, five. How many fourths are there? There's one right here, two right here. This is, I think it's two and a half, if I had to predict. Dividing fraction, give it a try. Flip the second fraction. And multiply, 28. Oh, even, simplify, 10 fourths. Even, simplify, five halves. Oh, improper, how many twos go in five? Two times, that's four. Two and a half. Hey, I did get it correct. So, here's five eight. How many fourths fit into it? Two and a half of them. 
And that's how you do dividing fractions. So you flip the second fi flip the second fraction, which is another word for reciprocal and times of way.